I'm uh, Alien McDonald, maths communicator extraordinaire from uh, YouTube and TikTok, and I am meeting with from across the pond. I'm Cindy Lawrence. I'm the executive director and CEO of the National Museum of Mathematics in New York City. Happy to be meeting with Alien. <laughs> so uh, I work mostly online, uh, communicating maths, and uh, you you work on site. So. We do the same thing, but in really different ways. And for me, I find probably the most challenging thing about working online is I don't get to see people's faces light up with the maths. You know, I, I create a video and then I put it out into the void and then I, I don't get that immediate feedback. I don't know if people are understanding what's going on. I just have to trust that I've done my job well and then people are only really called to action if they have a strong opinion one way or another. But conversely, one of the most rewarding things is when people do um, engage with my videos or really enjoy what I'm doing, some of the things that I get sent back are beyond anything that I could imagine or do myself. I personally am not great at coding, but I've done maths art videos where people send me back um, these beautiful codes that they've run um, that make amazing generative art. And at one point, actually, I offhandedly mentioned something in a video about maths art and uh, a researcher at Stanford University went on to publish a paper proving what I, I had spoken about. And I'm never gonna be able to publish a paper or go to Stanford, but it's just so rewarding to know that the, the videos that I put out there inspire things bigger than myself in the world. Okay, well, for me, one of the most challenging things is making sure that we meet people where they are. People come in and they think they're coming to a math museum and they expect that they're going to see numbers and calculators. And some of them have a less than comfortable relationship with mathematics. Mm -hmm. And so the most, the most challenging thing is to make sure that we excite people and inspire people mm -hmm. without scaring them off, mm -hmm. without um, reinforcing some of the stereotypes of mathematics. The most inspirational thing that happens is that we do this all the time and when I walk through the museum there is not a day that goes by that I don't hear these three words. That's so cool! <laughs> and when do you hear people saying math is so cool? It's lovely to see people of all ages and all backgrounds saying that's so cool about mathematics. There are three things I think that are important for me um, in terms of making all of this work. And that is passion, compassion, and commitment. So passion, I think to do math outreach in person and maybe online as well, you yourself have to be passionate and believe in what you're doing. Compassion is equally important because you have to recognize that people are not always comfortable with mathematics and you have to be able to put yourself in their position, recognize where they are and find a way to bring them along on this beautiful journey without losing them along the way. And commitment, this is hard work. Everything we do is hard work. And so being able to be committed and do what's needed to get the job done, those are the three things I think are most important. How about you? Yeah, well, kind of similar. Um, you, you definitely need to be tenacious if you're, if you're making videos online. Um, you know, you have to be willing to put in effort that other people won't because you're kind of up against millions and millions of other people uh, who are all making amazing videos so you have to you have to really stick at your craft and you know put all of that effort in there um, you have to kind of leave your ego out of it because um, you know you're gonna end up looking silly at some point or people will pause a video where your face is like um, and you just you get used to that um, so you, you can't take yourself too seriously especially when you're doing things online and um, 
definitely the technical problems are, are quite a challenge as well. So people can accept a video that looks like it was recorded on a potato, but not if the sound is bad. So I think something people don't imagine is the fact that when I'm making a video, it's just me at home for six hours, um, you know, trying to communicate my passion for maths. But when I come to record the sound, it's me with a microphone under my blanket, just trying to make sure that the sound quality is good. Um, yeah, <laughs> so one, one of the fun things though, one thing that I really remember is, um, you get to you get to meet all of these people so i saw two of my favorite people ever collide which is chris smith who has a maths newsletter from scotland all of the maths teachers in scotland love him and i once saw matt parker holding one of his maths newsletters and so what i did was printed it out got chris smith to send me a photo of him holding it printed that onto a t-shirt and went to go and see Matt Parker uh, wearing a t-shirt with a picture of Chris Smith holding a picture of Matt Parker holding his newsletter, which then got printed in the newsletter. <laughs> which is really recursive and really cool. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> really nerdy, but <laughs> in a fun I way. I think that's what we're all about. And, uh, <laughs> adding on to the nerdiness, uh, mm -hmm. my most memorable moment is actually before the museum opened. We have a lecture series that we kicked off called Math Encounters, and our very first speaker was a young man named Eric Demain, mm -hmm. who's the youngest ever full professor at MIT. And he showed up, and he had his hair in a ponytail and a t-shirt with a slogan and ripped jeans, and he walked into the room just looking like an average guy, and he looked at the audience and he said, my name's Eric Demain, and I love math. And the whole audience erupted in applause. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm with my people here, that everyone's cheering for this. Mm -hmm. And the memorable moment has a PS, because many years later, somebody applied for a job at the museum. And we ask people applying to jobs to write about an experience they've had with math. And this person sent in their letter that when she was in middle school, she had attended a talk at the, at, well, it wasn't at the museum, it wasn't open yet, but she had attended a talk sponsored by the museum. Mm -hmm with a man named Eric Demain. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that talk, she decided that she was gonna do whatever it took to be just like him and to get herself to MIT. Mm -hmm. And she was now writing to me as a student at MIT, oh. asking for a summer job. Yes. And so to me, that was really coming full circle from this inspiring moment mm -hmm. in front of an audience to finding out that somebody in that audience, this changed her life for yeah. the better. Power to her, power to all the people doing maths outreach. Yeah. It's important. Cheers. <laughs>